Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do angel makeup for Halloween. I'm really excited about this because um, my fiance is going to do a photo shoot for me after this video. And then I'm going to do devil makeup and he's also going to take photos of me for that for my Instagram. So hopefully those turn out good. <laughs> Um, you guys will see some photos. I'll try to insert photos at the end of this video so you can see it. I curled my hair even though we're doing this photo shoot in the bathtub. My hair is definitely going to get like ruined but I just feel like this was more like innocent like I'm going for like innocent like kind of virgin looking. <laughs> so I did buy like a white dress that I'm going to wear in the tub. And yeah, I'm pretty excited about this makeup look, so if you guys are interested in watching me go from this to this, then please keep on watching. So basically, I'm not going to be doing like any eyeshadow for now. I think it's going to gonna keep this really like natural-y-esque. Um, I have these jewels that I got from Amazon that I'm definitely going to be, be using and then I think we're going to do a second look where I don't have the jewels on and I just use this glitter that I got from Amazon. It's just multiple glitters. I might try to use them together but I just don't know if that's going to look that great. I also have this halo that's probably not going to translate very well and once I get in the water it's just going to be done for so hopefully we can get a couple cool shots with the halo maybe. I don't know. I got everything from Amazon basically. I got this um, dress which is just like lacy, like pretty from a thrift store nearby. My nail polish is Sally Hansen Quick Dry in the shade, I don't know, I'll put the shade name somewhere. We're gonna do a milk bath which I've never done before for photography. I hope we got enough milk for it. I'm kind of nervous about that. But let me just get straight into the makeup. Here just in case. Um, I mean my face is gonna get wet so I'm hoping this makeup can survive through that. Ooh, I probably grabbed too much of that concealer. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I'm basically just trying to perfect my skin so I'm canceling out all the darkness and the veins. I'm gonna put a lip plumper on just to be plump plumping while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. This is uh, just called Plump It. I don't know, it really burns and stings, but it kind of works. Hey guys, so basically what's happening here is that I'm setting my concealer on my eyelids with some Cody Airspun powder, and yeah, I didn't want to explain that because my lips were being plumped and they were burning like a bitch, and I'm using Maybelline um, Fit Me Foundation. Right now, so if it gets noisy, it's just my dog barking, I'm going to try to <laughs> edit that out. Um, as you can see, my lips have gotten quite a bit plumper. I'm not going to put any makeup over my tattoo, though. It might have gotten a little bit too dark. Oh, well. I am fake tanned right now. This um, foundation is a little bit pink for what color I am right now with my fake tan. I'm a little, not quite this pink, but that's okay. can all fix it in editing. I'm going to use a lighter coverage concealer because I kind of want my under eyes to sort of shine through. Um, because like I said, this is going to be more of a like natural glam look. I mean, it's still going to be glam. Trust me. But I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I believe it's in the shade Light. Nice. 
I'm using Cody Airspun, by the way, kind of mixed with the RCMA No Color powder. Okay, so I have that set. Now, before I set the rest of my face, I am going to go ahead and add some, like, liquid highlight. I have these e.l.f. Jelly Pop face and body, or face and eye <laughs> glosses, and they're really, really pretty. So I'm just going to take, like, the tiniest, tiniest bit on my finger, even that's probably too much. And I'm just going to dab them on my cheekbones. They're really sticky, um, but I feel like that consistency is going to be good still. I don't know if you can see that, if it is translating on camera or if I'm even in focus right now. It looks really fresh and like your skin is just like wet, which is what I like. That's sort of what I'm going for in this whole thing. Put some there. Because you kind of want your skin to just look like, kind of like glass, I feel like, if you're going for like the angel look. Um, I'm going to put a little bit on my chest area as well. Which my collarbones are not like as good as they used to be. I know I look like a grease ball, but like, I don't know, kind of into it, just saying. So after I've used that, I'm going to go in with another liquid highlighter. And it's going to be the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick in the shade 800 when the nude strikes. And I'm going to take that same finger that's already like still have product on it that's kind of sticky. And I'm just going to like tap over that even more. I love this Wet n Wild stick just on its own, but I feel like layered with this e.l.f. product, it's going to be even more intense. Like, as you guys can see, I'm literally look- I look like I'm glowing, and that's kind of like the point, you know? And even if I look greasy- oh, there went my strap. <laughs> Oops. There goes the other strap. Oops. I'm going to do bronzer, a little bit of contour, and some blush before I powder my face because that's just what I prefer to do. I'm really wanting some pizza, but like, I'm going to finish my makeup first. This is good timing though. While I'm eating the pizza, we can totally have the tub filling up. I really hope we got enough milk. I'm going to be pissed if this is like a bust. I'm using um, Butter Bronzer Physician's Formula. One of the best. And I'm just bronzing all over. I'm not doing, I said I was going to do contour, but I'm not going to do heavy contour because this is not that kind of look, you know? We're trying to look like an angel goddess who has already perfect skin and does not need extra contour as I put some bronzer on my nose. <laughs> Elf cream blush, and I'm going to be using um, this really pinky shade right there. Because what says innocent and virgin like flushed cheeks? I feel like this is gonna, yes, that's gonna look really pretty mixed with that. Oh, I hope this looks as good on camera as it does in person. I'm really into it. I feel like I kind of have Cupid vibes too. Like you could probably do similar makeup for like if you were being Cupid. Okay, so after that, I'm going to take my NARS Deep Throat Powdered Blush, and I'm just going to set that a little bit. Oh, I feel like it looks really pretty. Now I'm going to take my big fluffy brush, and I'm going to grab some powder by MAC. Mineralized Skin Finish, I believe. And I'm going to grab the shade Medium. Normally I would use medium plus when I'm fake tan, but my fake tan has faded quite a bit, so I'm going to take the shade medium, and I'm just going to go all over, all of that, except my cheekbones. I'm going to avoid my cheekbone area because I want to keep that really like wet 
look right there. Even over my collarbones, I'm going to set a little bit. I just want everything to stay put, especially I'm going to be in the water. It's hopefully not going to slide around everywhere. So the eyelashes I'm using today are going to be Dodo Lashes in the style D335. They're super pretty and I've not used these kind yet. Oh my god, these lashes are perfect for this look. Peach. While the glue is drying on my lashes, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Now I'm nervous about this because... I'm not good at doing eyebrows. I've talked about this so many times on my channel and I feel like it's just hard for me. It's one of those things that's hard for me. I don't have very good brows naturally, therefore it's hard for me to like get the nice brows that I like. I don't have real eyebrows. I mean I do, but they don't grow like in the beginning. I think those look okay. I can't focus on my eyebrows because my eyebrows will drive me insane if I let them. I hope this doesn't ruin the look like these jewels. I think the gold flakes would be really pretty too, so I might try those after. What do you guys think? Is this going to ruin it? I hope I got that on there straight. Because there's no turning back now, I suppose. What do we think? Is that too much? I mean, it's Halloween. If you're doing Halloween makeup, you shouldn't be like scared that you're doing too much, I feel like. This is such a like curved part of my face. I feel like it's kind of hard because this is supposed to be like more flat, but that's okay. Oh, is this angel-y or is this just like festival Coachella-y? <laughs> Either way, I guess it's okay. These feel weird on my under eyes because my under eyes move whenever I smile or emote at all. Okay, so now that I have those on, I'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes on. This mirror is so dirty, ew. I'm ashamed. Oh my god, these eyelashes are stunning, y'all. Stunning. I do offer, I guess I should say, a discount code with Dodo Lashes. If you guys are interested, I'll put it on the screen. It's for like 10% off, I think. Which they're already pretty affordable, these eyelashes. They range from like $5 being their cheapest eyelashes to $12 being their most expensive. I'm obsessed with these eyelashes. Oh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on some Fenty gloss, but I'm gonna eat first because I want some pizza. So I'll be back after I've eaten some pizza to do my lip gloss and then we'll be done with this so far. This has been so easy. Oh, let me put some more highlighter on. <laughs> Everybody's like, no, don't put more highlighter on. So I'm gonna take a brush. Ofra Cosmetics. The shade Glazed Donut. One of my favorite highlighters of all time. Oh my god. Not that I really need any more highlight, but it's like, just in case. It's kind of hard with the jewels. I'm just putting it everywhere that I have that um, other highlighter. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go eat. The bath is full, we just haven't added the milk yet. So this is the Fenty Beauty uh, Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow. It's 
It's like the best gloss of all time. I don't care who you are. This shit is amazing. So now we're gonna go take some photos and I'll be back if I end up doing another look with these glitters. All right, you guys, so um, here's the glitters on instead of the jewels. I put some right here and up here. I just got out of the bathtub, so um, yeah, <laughs> that's why I have wet hair and stuff. It was interesting to say the least. I think we got some really good shots. Um, I'll know when I'm editing and stuff tonight. I really like these glitters a lot more than the jewels, the stick on jewels. Jewels kept like lifting up, which probably wouldn't have happened if I used eyelash glue, but I just didn't do that. So I'm gonna zoom you in and show you a close up of the makeup. I think it's really pretty and I don't wanna take it off. And it looks so good with my cross necklace and my cross earrings. Also, I think there's a smudge on my lens. If that's bothering you, I'm so sorry, but yeah, I really recommend buying these. Wow, they really glitter in these lights. Um, I really recommend buying these and trying this out for Halloween. I think it's like a different take. So instead of like spooky, you're more being like glamorous and like beautiful. Now I'm going to be doing my devil makeup, which I'm really nervous about. <laughs> because that one's going to be a lot more technical, a lot more difficult. And we're going to be using a black bath bomb instead of milk bath. Also, two gallons of whole milk was perfect for our bathtub, I must say because it was still like white and milky, but not super opaque. It was still kind of see-through. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please let me know if you do this look for your Halloween costume as an angel. I would love to see it. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to see how these photos really turned out. I'm going to post quite a few of them. Um, my makeup Instagram is emmavictoria underscore MUA. I am so excited. I hope these turn out as good as I'm hoping they will. Um, yeah, I didn't use the little halo that I bought. It just wasn't going to work out in the water and wet and everything. So we just didn't use that one. I really wanted to, but I think it's still, you're going to get the idea. Especially because I'm going to be posting them together, like, one after the other. The angel and the devil. Um, yeah, if there's anything you guys want to see from me and any suggestions you have, then please let me know. I'll be on the lookout for that. Alright, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!